Hey what's up guys, Mitch HD here and I'm here with a pretty cool model this one is the Azul Brazilian Airlines EIJ195 make sure you check the description for anything you may have missed as well as my social media and the website where I pre-ordered this from which was jetwaymodels.com so this is my first Embraer ERJ195 model and it's my first Azul model some info about Azul Azul means blue in Portuguese operations base sorry if I pronounce any of these wrong by the way is at a Baruri in Brazil which is uh, in the greater part of Sao Paulo main hubs are Campinas Viracopos Belo Horizonte Confins and Rio de Janeiro Santos Dumont. Focus cities are Belo Horizonte Pampula, Curitiba, Manaus, Porto Alegre, Recife, Ribeiro Preto, Salvador da Bahia, and Sao Paulo Garulhos. They're founded on the 5th of May 2008 by the JetBlue founder David Neilman. They commenced ops or commenced operations on the 15th of December 2008 and their fleet as of the 5th of August 2015 um, they have 149 aircraft 62 of these are ERJ 195s and they have four more on order they're placed in order for the new unreleased ERJ 195E2 which they have 30 on their list and will receive their first in 2019 they have 160 106 destinations in Brazil and USA and this aircraft was delivered on the 27th of February 2013 alright so let's take a look around the box so we have Embraer 195, Azul picture of the two aircraft because there was two released now let's have a look on the back, it's a very very small box quite different from what I'm used to there's JC Wings, go, go check out their Facebook page for all their, um, you know, keep up to date with their new releases and some warnings down there. Top of the box, so that's this will be the pink model, which I also got, which I'll be doing a review on next. The pink ribbon, and this is the one I got PRAXP, the registration. Okay, so let's have a look inside. First off, we have the uh, stamp pieces, so they will come separate, I'll be putting it together before I do the second part of the video and then we have the model itself alright guys, so I now have the model out of the box and I'll show you around the aircraft starting at the port side at the cockpit windows so you see that we have the cockpit windows and then we have the aircraft name, Curacao Azul, I think that's how it's, how it's pronounced. It means blue heart in Portuguese. Now we've got pedo tube static ports. And then on the nose gear door, XP, part of the registration. Azul titles with their logo, which is, um, their logo is different colours of the different, um, it's like a map of Brazil, it's the different, different regions of Brazil. We have the engines, voazul.com.br. These engines are General Electric CF34-10E7. Got little chevrons at the back there, and um, engine strake um, on the nacelle, both sides. These engines, I'm not going to bother about spinning them because they do not spin, which is fine. It's a small model, and I'm not worried too much. But they um they are pretty detailed for small aircraft. And then we'll come along the leading edge. Got the winglet, the nice um dual colour dual blue coloured winglet with the red navigation light there. Coming back along the fuselage with the Brazilian flag. I don't think they're an actual flag carrier of Brazil. They are the third largest airline in Brazil though. And there's a registration um, in the aircraft type Embraer 195. The registration PRAXP or Papa Romeo Alpha X-Ray Papa. And there's 
the logo on the tail as you can see, the map of Brazil, XP part of registration on the tail. Alright, so let's have a look at the APU. Very well detailed APU. As you can see on the horizontal stabilizer on the right, there's a little bit of paint taken off. Wasn't my fault, um, just how I received it. Not disappointed though, I can, I can if I want to, I can just sort of finish it off. Cockpit windows, name of the aircraft, Peter tube static ports, part of the registration on the gear door. There's also the cargo container door, Azul titles with the logo. The engine, it's also a thing I've missed before. The landing lights on the inboard part of the wing. There's the winglet, green navigation light, just, you can just see it at the bottom of the paint there. Coming back along the fuselage, we have the rear cargo container door. Registration, Brazil flag, and the logo on the tail. Alright, so, I'll show you underneath the aircraft now. Zoom it in here actually. So we have the nose gear and then we have an antenna right there, beacon light, hole for the stand, main gears, PR on that side, the flap slats, ailerons. And the rest of the registration AXP on this side. Continuing down, one more antenna right there. And it sort of continues out a bit. It's like a little lip. It continues along with the antenna. It doesn't look like a, a ventral to me, a ventral fin. Another antenna. And then, oops, focus, there we go. APU housing. Top of the aircraft. Cockpit windows, antenna, anti-collision light. Those would be ADF antennas right there. Got the overwing emergency exits, flaps, slats, ailerons. You can see all those details. PR on that side, AXP on this side. Very well detailed. Oh, sorry, no, these would be the ADF antennas right here, in front of the SATCOM, or. Yeah, it's that common. That may also be for Wi-Fi as well. I'm not sure if they have Wi-Fi. Um, antenna, another antenna. If you look on the ta on the horizontal stabilizers, one grey dot there and one on the other side. They're the logo lights that light up the tail at night time. All right. Um, seating of the aircraft. I don't really need to go on too much. It's all economy. 118 seats in a two-two configuration from rows 1 to 30. Alright, so I showed you that stand before, it was disassembled in there. I took off the blue film at the back and um, nice shiny metal back. Problem is you got one of these little things at the top. I wish they'd make the I wish they'd give us the bigger stands that uh, actually can hold the model better you see the, the plaque, Azul, Linhas, Elias, Brasilias. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, just um, tried my best. Embraer 195, scale 1 to 200. And yeah, so let's put it on the stand now. Okay. So that goes in there. And I don't think it's going to go in. I don't trust the stand anyway. Oh, okay. There we go. Except this, the stand's popping out the bottom now. So, as you can see, it's popping out the bottom. So, it's obviously not on. It doesn't take it very well. Anyway, it's going to stay in there for now. So, 
some features about it. Uh, rolling landing gear, front one doesn't swivel, but they all roll, which is very nice. Very, they roll very freely. Um, so that's one of the good good points about it. It's a shame about the stand, how yeah they really need to um, give us the bigger stands, the narrow body stands for the smaller models because these small they just can't hold the smaller models anymore. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. It's a very nice little model if you're looking for a, a smaller aircraft or if you're an ERJ195 um, fan. It's a perfect model. Uh, please like this like this video if you enjoyed. Comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if you're going to get it. Tell me if you already have it. Um, subscribe. I have the pink one up next. Also go check out my previous previous videos which were the A, uh, sorry, Air China 747-8. Qantas 747-400, Vietnam 787-9, Thompson 787-8, and the Air China 777-300ER. So um, I've also got the Qantas 747-400, Wunala Dreaming, Rolls-Royce engines on the way. That's a must-watch video. You don't want to miss it. So anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.